Welcome to new techno news channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. The French Caesar truck mounted gun howitzer, developed by GIAT. The acronym Caesar stands for Camion Equipe d'une Systeme d'Artillerie, or truck equipped with an artillery system. It is a successor to self-moving artillery guns, fitted with auxiliary power unit. It evolved from the F3 self-propelled howitzer, based on the AMX-13 light tank chassis. This artillery system was designed to meet the fire support requirements of rapid deployment forces. The Caesar was revealed in 1994. At the time of its introduction the concept of truck-mounted artillery systems was very unusual. Initial five systems were delivered to the French Army for evaluation in 2003. First production vehicles were delivered in 2007. French Army ordered a total of 72 systems to replace the towed TRF-1. Export operators are Thailand and Saudi Arabia, 80. French Army howitzers saw action in Afghanistan and Mali. The Caesar was the first mass-produced truck-mounted howitzer. This unusual concept of mounting a powerful howitzer on a military truck chassis eventually proved to be successful. Other countries followed the trend introduced their own truck-mounted artillery systems. The Caesar is completed with 155mm L-52 gun howitzer, fitted with semi-automatic loading system. It fires all standard NATO 155mm ammunition, including ordinary and rocket-assisted HEFRAG rounds, cargo rounds with anti-tank or fragmentation bomblets, smoke and illumination projectiles. It is also capable of firing bonus precision-guided anti-tank munitions. The bonus round carries two smart anti-tank submunitions to a range of 34 kilometers. Maximum range of fire is 42 kilometers with rocket-assisted HEFRAG projectile. Maximum range of direct firing is 2 km. Maximum rate of fire is 6 rounds per minute. Vehicle carries 18 complete rounds. The Caesar artillery system has an armored cab which protects the crew members during traveling. It accommodates 6 crew members and provides protection against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. A 12.7mm machine gun can be mounted on top of the roof for self-protection. The Caesar can be set into and out of action in less than one minute. Brief redeployment time allows to avoid counter-battery fire. Vehicle can be also used on shoot-and-scoot missions. Vehicle is fitted with the fast-hit computerized fire control system, muzzle velocity radar and navigation system with global positioning system. It provides onboard terminals for communication and firing sequence management. Prototypes of this artillery system was based on a Mercedes-Benz Unimog 6x6 truck chassis. Production systems for the French Army are mounted on the Renault Sherpa 56x6 truck chassis. It is powered by Renault DCI 6 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 240 horsepower. Vehicle is fitted with a central tire pressure system, which is adjusted from the driver's seat. Interestingly howitzers supplied to Saudi Arabia are also based on the Mercedes-Benz Unimog U2450L 6x6 chassis. These are operated by the Saudi National Guard. The Caesar is fully air transportable and can be airlifted by the C-130 Hercules or a 400M transport aircraft. A battery of eight Caesars can disperse more than one ton of projectiles in one minute. A salvo of six Ogre cargo rounds releases 378 bomblets and saturates area of three hectares. Each Caesar howitzer is escorted by the ammunition resupply vehicle. In 2014 a version aimed at the Indian market was presented. It is based on Ashok Leyland Super Stallion 6x6 military truck. Variants. Caesar 8x8 or Caesar 2 emerged more than 20 years after the original Caesar. It was first publicly revealed in 2015. It is based on a Tatra T815-7-8 Extension 8 chassis. Gun of the new artillery system remains without significant changes, 
however weapon control system has been updated. So the Caesar 8x8 can shoot faster and is more accurate than its predecessor. Furthermore, the chassis allows to carry almost twice more ammunition. This artillery system was ordered by Denmark and Czech Republic.